guys hope you're all right we're on saturday now and i've just been to farm foods to do a little shop not been in there for a while so i thought i'd just nip in and see what they've got because the one near me has just been renovated and well not just i say just but i mean like <laughs> it might be six months back i've been, I've been living in once since they reopened um the prices have gone up but so has everybody else's haven't they so yeah we got some bits in the I did have lots of stuff in my online basket for Iceland, but I'm sick of buying the same every week, so I thought I'd try and see if there's anything different. So hope you're alright. Hope you've had a nice weekend so far. I mean, it's only what day are we on? It's only Saturday, so weekend's just beginning. I normally work on a Saturday morning, but I didn't today. Andrew went to work this morning. Katie was working. She was doing some face painting for the company she works for so she's been an, an armed forces day all day doing kids face painting just picked her up and then we nipped into farm foods me and andrew are planning to go out tonight we might go out tonight um yeah so i'll show you what i got in farm foods but let me know what you've been up to anyway i do like to hear what you've been up to as well um we normally have kalani on a saturday but I said to Carl, we're, uh, we're having a day off this weekend, but that's all right because he's gone to the Lake District anyway because his girlfriend's got a relative in the lakes. So they've had a day out. We've had a day of peace. All is well. Uh, yeah, Alex has just come in. So I'm going to start getting ready soon. I'll just show you my shopping anyway. We did, oh yeah, we did nip into B&Q this afternoon. I love shopping, but not in B&Q. It's one of the worst places to go ever. I hate the shop. Unless I'm actually going for something really nice for the house. <laughs> so we went in B&Q and we're going to paint the living room in about two weeks time. What are you doing? Half. No. Watch. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Little boy. What are you doing? Half. You've been naughty boy. Abby. Excuse me. Who is it? Mm. He's a good boy. So, here we are. So, like I was saying, went in being cute, didn't we? Can't stand it in there. I just see lots of things I want because I want to change all the doors upstairs. We've got doors on, they're a bit old. Kids have, you know, abused them a little bit, slamming the doors, handles coming off, all kinds. So I want some nice new internal doors upstairs. So I've seen the ones I wanted. I'm not having them yet, of course I'm not. I'm going to wait forever, like usual. But we did buy some um, test pots because we're going to decorate, we're going to paint the living room. And I wanted a white, but not too white. I don't want pure white because then it's like, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? So I'm looking at all the different colours. And I wanted a nice off-white, but not a dirty cream or a smoky colour. Because my living room now looks a bit like I smoke 20 a day. So I found this one, Alberta Matte. It's a little bit white, but not white. Can you see? I might take you out of focus. Oh, it's facing the other way. Never mind. And I found this one called Driftwood. This one says, made with bio-sourced resin. I think it's an eco-friendly paint. But it was quite expensive. But I do like that colour more than the other one. So I'm going to try them two on the wall. Andrew's got a week off work. Not next week, the week after. So that could keep him busy, couldn't it? And whilst I was in B&Q... Keep mentioning to you, don't I, about junk journaling and all the rest. So I thought to myself, hmm, some nice wallpapers in here. You know, you can usually like rip a bit off the roll and like, you know, you're pretending you're going to try it against your wall at home. Didn't know whether you could still do that or not, because it used to be a thing. So I did pinch a little bit. I mean, they won't miss this little piece, will they? But I did think that was a nice colour. It's like a, you might not be able to see the colour, but it's like a purple. Lilacs, purples, bit of silver. I do you like that? I might stick that in a journal somewhere. <laughs> so 
source your, your materials where you can, you know. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed browsing anyway. It's not my favourite shop. I'm, I've got no money at the minute, so I'm a bit like, mm, I'm skint. It's everybody's birthday. Just paid for my holiday. I'm not impressed. I'll turn you around anyway, show you my shopping. We got chicken and mushroom mayflower. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I need some different teas through the week. I'm getting bored. Chicken and mushroom. These are supposed to be nice. They're not the biggest, but when you put that with rice, you'll be all right. I think there was 159. I got my favorite gastro triple cup chips. Of course I did. I love these. The ones from Lidl, Aldi's, they're just not as good. I think they was 399, but they're well worth it. Got some liver and bacon. It's supposed to be good frying levels, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't mind it actually, as long as it's cut really thin. I know it doesn't smell very nice when it's cooking, but kind of is good for you. And I like it with the onion gravy on it. Got some spam fritters with cheese in the middle. Sorry, I'm getting too close. There we go. They was 2 25 I think. I'm looking for differentness. What can I have for my tea that I don't have normally? Tell me. Give me some inspiration. Some fruit burst berry juice drink. I only bought one for 99p. You could have had two for one pound something. Can't remember what it was. But I don't know if I like it, so I just got one. I got Carl some drinks for work. He likes these. Tropical berry like a sport drink these are 59p last time i checked they might have gone up um katie puts lots of weirdness in my basket these are hers iced tea with lemon i think she just likes the bottles myself so i'm sure that's why she buys them this one fruit punch cowboy cocktail fruit juice drink um she also picked this one up uh what is it Isotonic juice, lilac and gooseberries. Hmm, never had them before. We got two bar colas, two for two pound. They tell me this is nicer than any other cola. I mean, I'm not a big Coke drinker, but I believe them. Little peas, these was one pound nine p. What's the difference between a petit pois and a garden pea? Are they smaller and harder? Is that the idea? tell me because you know what the garden peas are cheaper but i just thought these ones were nicer for some reason <laughs> so i bought them ones i have no idea why um donna kebab meat because alex loves it he has it on pita breads he has it on its own with chips something else he will eat so i'll buy that i think it was 1.99 i'm not very good with prices as you've probably already gathered and it would take me 100 years to put it all on the screen because I'm not that techy either, so apologies. Got two pizzas, cheese stuffed crust. We've had these before and they're very nice. The 2 49 they've got the cheesy stuffed crust. And this is what I went for, to be honest. I don't like pepperoni, but I do like the plain cheese one. And it's the nicest one I've had for a while. I did like the Iceland ones with the stuffed crust, their own brand. But these are well nicer than them. So there you are. We got Country Crisp. Chunky nuts. I don't like cereal, but this is the only one I will eat. But only with yoghurt or something like that. Yoghurt and fruit. Uh, chunky Fish Fingers. These were one ninety nine. We all like Fish Fingers. Even Andrew will eat them now. He used to say that they was kids' food. But since I've made him... Pitter pockets with fish fingers. He's been converted. So, yep. Yeah, only got one box, so I should have got two. These, if you've not had these before, you really should. These are battered chicken breast chunks. You can't really see that, can you? Now, I've had these before. They're £6.99 now. They used to be £4. But, you know, <laughs> it's the same as everything, isn't it? Um, and if you're going to buy these, make sure you get that brand that's called Sierra. Because there's a few other different ones that look exactly the same and they're not as nice. This is a kilo bag and these are very tasty. Trust me. Alex, I got him his white fish. It's one of the only things he eats that's good for him. And he likes it just as it is with 
He actually likes it with gravy on it, but you know, each to their own. I got some Oxy Action Vanish White stuff for my whites. Does make them look a lot nicer. Good for the school shirts and the white t-shirts and all that. I think it was $3.49 maybe. Toilet roll. We had just got one left upstairs, so I got the little duck. I don't know how much this was. And I've not tried this brand, but mm, toilet roll's toilet roll, isn't it? Unless you've got that really rubbish stuff that's like tracing paper. Who remembers that shiny toilet paper that your nan used to have? <laughs> God, I hated that. Oh, it was bad. Um, two tins of bigger peas. I've not been buying tins of peas because I just think the price of them is wrong. For the amount of stuff you get, I've been buying the frozen ones because you get lots more for like a pound. Yeah, so these was two tins for 79p, which I thought was alright. So I bought a pair of them. I got some bacon grill, because we like this. Yeah, we have it sometimes with the fry up, fried eggs or, you know, just whenever you want a snack sometimes. Katie picked up a mug shot, chicken and noodle. She likes these sometimes for, you know, dinner time or something. I picked up another rice because I looked this morning and I thought, oh, I've used all my rice. Don't remember using it, but not much in the cupboard. 79p. I should have gone to Lidl and got them all for 40p. I won't be getting them in there again. Some smoked ham. No, it's not smoked. I thought it was. Sandwich ham. Oh, I thought it was smoky, but it's not. 40 slices, but they are seriously thin slices. But anyway, I think it was 2 99 I got some cheddar. Andrew's a massive cheese fan. I tend to only like cheese that's been melted for some reason. Just tastes better. And he does like the strong cheese. That was 2 99 I got some lady, pink lady apples. 4 for one seventy nine. I've got some in the fruit bowl, so I just did a little top up. Katie puts general randomness in. She's got this Dora chocolate sticks dip. She also picked up mash. She loves these little mash pots. This is the chive one. They are nice actually for like a oops, there we go. For like an instant pot thing. I don't like pot noodles. I don't like many things that are like that, but the mash ones are not so bad. I got some Galaxy Ripple, another one of Alex's favourites. You get three for one twenty nine. Now I buy Carl a pot noodle every day for his work pat lunch, and he says these ones are nice because I usually buy the branded ones that are one pound forty now for the big king pot noodle. It's a joke, isn't it? So we got these Yum Su special chicken cup noodles. These are fifty nine p. I mean they're not as big, but. Yeah, he said these are nice, so I thought I'd try them. So we got five of them. Um, chicken curry and just special chicken, whatever that is. I got some of these mini Magdalenas, chocolate chip. These was only 29p. So we got two bags. Katie's started eating one in the car. <laughs> of course she did. Uh, yeah, we got some more of these lemon layered slices, Mr. Kipling's. I do like lemon cakes. And I said last week, didn't I, I was going to make my, um, what do you call it? I've got a lemon drizzle cake mix in the cupboard. I'm going to make that. But they had no milk. They had no semi-skimmed. So I've got no milk apart from what I've already got in. Um, yeah, so this was 60, um, 69 pound, I think it was. But the prices are not too bad. I noticed the ready meals were three for 10 pound and... I've had a few of them, they're not amazing. But I'm trying to stay away from ready meals at the minute anyway. So that's my shopping from Farm Foods. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Let me know if you go to Farm Foods, because I know not everybody's got one, have they? But yeah, try the pizzas if you like pizza, because they're really nice. So, see you again soon, guys. Take care. Toodaloo. Ah.